Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to use the Magic Ink function in Active Inspire. First thing we're going to do today, just to make it basic, we're going to start off with two pictures, our dog and cat again. And I'm going to give both of those pictures a label. So I have them both just labeled dog and cat. Now today, when we're using the function, we're going to cover up these words and let the kids be able to guess what the label is, what each object is. So we're just going to cover both of them up. We're going to use a, just a basic rectangle here. Now to make the rectangles the same size, the easiest way would be just to click on them and duplicate. Now I have two that are the same size, so it looks a lot better. Now using the magic ink, all we're going to do is we're going to move the rectangles to the top layer. So you're just going to go View Browsers, and once you have your browser open, you're going to the Object Browser. We're then going to take our two shapes that we have, uh, highlight both of them, I'm just going to move them up to the top layer. I'm going to make sure my words stay down below so they don't get erased with the magic ink. Now today, let's see, when we go to Tools, Magic Ink, we should be able to erase that top layer and the kids could see what each picture is. Now if you have a problem with the students moving things when they come up to the board, you could lock everything into place. So we're just going to select it all. We're going to go up to the top. We're going to go to the Object Edit menu and go down to Locked. Now nothing will move. But you could still use the magic ink. If you have any more questions, please let me know.